that that wants people to fail. This is um, categorized. It's not ob is you can't see it in the you have that kind of um intention that are not so good pay attention to and the second half we also talk about at roadblocks and obstacles for them towards their clicks. So those are another issue of, you know, you know, the intention is not uh, wholesome because definitely always go back to this. Uh, if you understand how cost and effect work, doesn't even need to think too much about it. Just have a read of whole lot of fun. We understand that nothing you do is coming out of thin air. Nothing they do is just by chance. Everything is, you know, has a cause and effect. Uh, of their conditions and the cause, and then if they, you know, merits by supporting. You don't even need to do something to. Support. Like this is a good thing that person did. A simple word of praise. A very good way to cultivate merits. Uh, cultivate and that kind of mindset, if you have a very uh, strong, you know, kind intention, when chance arises, you will. What's the danger? What should I do? You won't be too calculative. You to complete the good deeds. So that's what we should be doing instead. Um, going the opposite direction to as then um, you know end up only so to speak. So, especially when things are public benefit, real we can reasonably assume is um, maybe you have a so to speak had a beef with that person, uh, unsettled business. If that person is in position in charge of. Project there for the public good, and he's at the helm of it, taking care of the popula po uh, po populations. Then, you know, help them to finish up the good deeds. You know, so there's always priorities. You know, what what's more important than your person? Grudges, it might just be misunderstanding. So I'm, I'm fine to it, but you know, trying to be more logical and reasonable in understand, because remember, this might happen to us too. We have emotions, and if emotions are not properly tempered, it becomes a destruction. It, it will become a very destructive force. This is without proper, uh, how to say, guided, well-guided intention, it's very dangerous. Uh, at the same time, you can't express yourself. So, you know, so you need to help, then you should help. You should at least not obstruct. To the level or what might happen behind the scene, as long as it can it can bring out some benefit to everyone, we should set aside the differences. You know, I don't know how it is, but you know, um, learn from them instead of say trying to obstruct them because of one or two faults they have. 
everyone might make mis- will make mistakes um and so, so i mean if unless that mistake is really irreconcilable yeah. like unforgivable i don't know if it's if it's a very serious mistake if that person happens to be in that position you still need to let them carry on this project first so this phrase is just talking about this intention of jealousy basically that that mindset there was misguided uh, misaligned mindset uh, the mindset that put in the wrong place so it's to remind us to be jealous trying to you know undermine them uh, without us aware of it you know if you're now aware of it like now we're talking about this you'd be like why would i do that of course not right in buddhism you try you felt you awakened you feel like everything's good everyone's good people i'm a bodha and bodhisattva everyone's like equal and nice and that situation your temper arise or you you fall into vices you never found out hidden beneath the surface that was triggered by these new situations so that is why it's very important to listening and that's what master jing is doing 60 years of his life what you think about is i just need this to remind myself all right the rest they are a very blessing I, I don't dare to for me so this is how it works right so if we continue dangers towards others um, very simple driving drunk driving beat you know fast and furious what franchise they have 10 right give and their own family you know rob them of their own father mother and daughter and child so don't do that right um or maybe in position like in a company nothing to do with it like say say there is a pro you know you're in position of care and these people causing a breach in you know privacy or something and cause the company you know to crack down and say hey why didn't you do that right just because it's not your fault doesn't mean that you can push it on right even if it has nothing to do with you if you're in a mental better i should have done better to safeguard him from making this mistake to the uh, perilous situation in the ex- mindset cannot last long because some people will do the same to you in one day the other side at the end of the barrel basically but if you want other one who pull the triggers you are at the end of that so always remember that so you don't want to be at that end of the gun. Do your best trying to, you know, help them if they make me physically or, or, you know, or why would I want to sacrifice my peace and quiet to save someone else or help someone else? You know, remember one day, if anything, you need someone to give you a helping hand. That's when this. Another one, jianrenzi reduce another benefits for fashion. You know, have a property or something, or just as simple as you know, off and leave the lesser 
pipe towards others that's not rightfully theirs using deceitful means so transgression of the deceit is also another form of um, transgression right um, you know you eat what you eat so give people more take less for yourself retain and grow their prof uh, their actual merits merits Maserati Bugatti or some big three million dollar house It doesn't have to be like that. Marriage is also a peace of mind. Translate into peace of mind, peace of heart, you know. Um, lacking needs, you also have a lot of what you want. More compassionate, open heart towards others. Um, that's marriage. I'm for non-stop for three years and attain enlightenment. That's something I don't have. Always think on that perspective. What if I am them? Then you will force yourself to do at least that's a, that's a start. That's a start of cultivating merits. Without pure land, samadhi, being for some way. That means achi achieving the le high level of concentration, tranquility. Yeah, the Amitabha Sutra mentioned you cannot merits and fortunes comes together and conditions to be reborn in pure land because that place. what you want manifest before you good people really good people and one of the best people there you can find in the world Bodhisattva and you're actually one of them so those places are not do not try to cut people profit or do not try to Or instead, that places everyone's always putting others before themselves. Have that, you know, sharing mindset, open mindset. That's the. Want to make sure they all success becoming Buddha. Now how do you become. Pass to get there. All right. Sorry, I bring a little reference from. But various to trust, but basically, what it, it takes a lot of thing you uh, uh, attainment you could ever achieve in and out of achieve that. Take think about Shaimani Buddha. How long it takes for him needs to happen to make Shaimani Buddha Shaimani Buddha. How many uh, Buddha appears as his student, appear as his? Oh, by the way, sorry, spoiler a lot. Um, and how many people need to appear before him in order to complete? Right. So does your career, so does your family. Group organization it takes a chance to grow because you don't have the environment you can't grow in that survival of the fittest mindset sure it's mechanism right that's exactly what what make buddhas eating small fish tigers eating deers Humans with better physique, Buddhist people with uh, disabilities, uh, arrogant people, you know, people with uh, good physique and stuff. And continue in this kind of action. That is exactly confident about this. Why? 
because our our thought into wound or the bad side without you know balancing it with get in this downward spiral you know always This, you know, and and this creates that kind of environment. Hence, right now we are at the Dharma ending age. Say so. It's just the mindset getting more and more. How to say? Uh, how to say more? Um, Profit becomes a very personal thing, you know, not something which is easily so you know, selfishness, greed, hatred, easily anger, uh, you know, that kind of mindset. Of course, you could have the world that is terrible, every you know. So, so, so think about why is this world in this world like, like pure land? But why are we look? So it has to do with us as well, in the way, right? What we see, like, do, you know? So these thoughts is telling us, you know. organization we're gonna you know rob the and around you know, even though you might not be able to change the whole world you might a little patch of pure land for yourself and to do that you need to act like what people in pure land do always think of the good of others A lot of maturity, a lot of patience, a lot of forgiveness. Also, it's fine. All right. You also need to act. Like also you need to act. And that means you need to let go of that part of grudge. That so so this cycle, if you want to break. concept let's just say cycle of hatred how do you describe cycle of six rims cycle of hatred cycle of greed you know oh love but with a lot of um love without rationality uh, is the antithesis of compassion buddhism means love with rationality love rationally like you understand, you know, you actually take them because everyone that takes wisdom, you need to realize that point. Everyone is one and not in a uh, good or bad. And, and it's up to you. So six dreams happens because of that, you know, this So that's why we chant our metal for to divert. Otherwise, they were forever stuck in this. All right, sorry guys, <laughs> too far. Now, going back to to fraudulently exchange what is worthless for what is valuable, to, or to forward private agendas. It's pretty common, right? It's things on a on a rigged um, like you know the ton, you know the the weight is actually just you know zero point nine or zero point eight kilos. So they give you a bit of um they cut off. Uh, 
So basically, it's um, yeah, it's not good. There's a precious stones in it, you know. There's a gem, and you. It happens online, right? In the shopping sounds like I did that, right? Yeah, I know. Uh, and then you bought it, and then you realize lied too. So yeah, that's not good. Is the act of stealing. Uh, under maybe you know, um, yeah. If you guys have anything else, um, when we when we go to this, all right, Yi Si Fei Gong. Providing the public, the common good. So, same team. Guess which which part in our country doesn't matter in in a huge uh, agenda in the public forum, pushing it. So uh, yeah, like what is supposed to be a forum to discuss the for the countries and stuff like that is hijacked by personal. Yep. Or um, disguising the personal desire or ambition. Power or lust for fame or lust for, uh, you know, success, lust for um, with, you know, what a noble word it's going to help the country, help the communities. Right? Um, so, like, because we're a Buddhist group, we don't talk that. But we must understand that as a, as a community, public, you know, efforts. Uh, we need to um, think hard. of our um, society and that also includes the part will write what is commonly good sometimes something they are more common sense you the same old um, you know bring it to a more neutral setting we can talk about say you know public servants or Their own power, abuse it, and then they, um, you know, so that includes uh, that, that is part of the um, issue. Supposed to, you know, perform your duties and do your jobs and uh, benefit. Uh, that's also private agendas. Maybe it should be small things, you know, like. for myself it's small i'm not saying that you know it should be very rigid but we need to be about it like f on of your actions you have on the society if you boil it down this is about how much do you need why are you doing this why are you doing this job? Especially in terms and all that, they're in high office, public office. You know, if you are 
you still have to run for the you know the board and all that you know but as a public office your whole existence of you then not the nice uh, slogans okay I have my own personal consideration days and how much I really need to have a comfortable life a job I was bestowed by the people doesn't matter what political system you know you got into this position doesn't matter what political system you go um, the community that you're serving so you need all right but I need to separate them I only take what is rightfully mine separate. I'm not going to use the public office the perks of public office These perks, if you just use it, they are supposed to, you know, functions that your role is supposed to serve. Use it for your own personal enjoyment. This will save you a lot of trouble. That is basically um, because. our muscle we train our thoughts our desires as well all right and and ideally you reduce it further then you will avoid the people maybe they have a you know very expensive dinner with one of the influential appropriate you know like private offerings even in bank so so always keep in mind like this You know, like the concept of, you know, this is public office. You know, good generals and good officials in ancient China stories. I I always go back to him. He's the Mr. Fun. Uh, way of calling him. So Mr. Fun, um, Zhong Yan. So he. So he's in a high office. But if you look at his house, he's not. Um, you know, those Mercedes Benz, BMW. Uh, economic stuff. So he he can take the. And if you look at his house, it's pretty simple. It's very. Operations. There's no exuberant, you know, table, marble table, about a thousand miles away, uh, just to get to you know capital beyond his high office, like beyond his formal attire, which is no brands, no Adidas, nothing. Um, everything he wears off brand, basically. If we use our modern mindset to think about it. as the high office people, he only spent just enough for his family. On community, he put it in his public trust and that trust is used. Yeah, yeah, we can call it trust. It's, it's, it's how it works. Sorry guys, thank you for here. I've been dealing with trust whole day today. Um, Everyone who benefited from it is under FAN, F-A-N. So he used that money, trust to buy lands in back in home. Being bought and he used to build schools, build because of the FAN family to have a schooling system there. Back then. Most government thing is they have a university, but the rest you need to or if you're very talented, you might I mean there is a volunteer and they 
teach. Basically, what we do now, like if you have a lot of degree for free as a volunteer. Uh, so yeah, to support the public trust um, instead. Of if you have the privilege of getting into this high office, it takes a lot of self-control. It takes a lot of, at that time, no one can touch you. So, so office is very important. Why am I here in the first place? Like, why I can do it in the right way. Yes, you know, like, you know, I can. But it's just enjoyment yourself. He enjoy a lot, and then he died. Fun or Mr. The later in Qing Dynasty, uh, Mr. They have the smarts. They have the skills. They have the ability for something bigger than themselves, and they live poor. Some of them even. interest like yeah choice you know um this is comfortable for me on that realistically right why can realistically do more immediately in my case yeah i can cut down gradually which i cut that part i also cut Slowly, you know, level of restraint that you need, and that it helps as well if you have goal, like something that really touches you. Maybe where you inspire the chinko, you actually inspire that you witness them actually doing this. Mountains of wealth, mountains of respect, mountains of praise they could have. Or they let go of that. Why? What makes people do that? Cage. Are they really suffering? Or are we the one who suffer freedom in heart? Freedom from mental depression. Freedom from troubles. Freedom from dramas. Uh, freedom report stuff like that. Real freedom actually help bigger people. You don't have time to think about yourself. If I do take care of the world, uh, take care of the community, of yourself too much, too well, Buddha was like, why are we actually as, you know, actually serving people? Buddha. It might sound like I'm talking about fairy tales. No, it's it's not. It is it's how it works. If you actually read that, their sutra, a focal point of humans' kindness. To these people, the God, the Allah, the the Buddha, in accordance to their examples, all right? Because every, you know, it's cause and effect. In, you just, you just matches their energy sometimes. Of becoming more Grudge, grudging and be like, oh my god. From what Buddha has first taught us, let go of yourself first. Who, who is I? Who am I? Am I the happiness? Am I the sadness? I'm not talking about philosophy, I'm talking about practical application you actually think like that like these reactions 
It's like you're watching someone else got slap instead of maybe not too extreme. You're watching someone else got scolded. You'd be like, yeah, Dylan, you're terrible at this. It would be like, oh, the defensive move t- comes. I don't feel anything or I, I don't feel as much. So we associate oh, Dylan, this is not making sense. But think about it, you know. And I'm not Dylan anymore. So that's our emotion. If I'm really attached, I might attach to it one month, but it's better than wrestling with this. But this is a journey, guys. That is not what this is about. This is about, you know, you put tested by it. You actually reflect, like, you know, am I too much? And if you're lost, go to go back to the just listen mundane, like just listen to it every day, like grow rather than sit here and just thinking out of nowhere. It's it's not how how much more. Okay, yeah, I think I have to go too far. So I will take a pause. This is a uh, or you know any any um, thoughts coming out of this. Feel free to share.